law on two counts of murder in the second degree. Entering the park just before 7 that evening, that's when Weaver and two other teens who entered the park from a different location set their sights on Majors, allegedly trying to rob her. Majors tried to fight back, even leaving one of her attackers with bite marks. Some of the last words she was known to have said was, help me, I'm being robbed. Where you go to school, where you live, can greatly affect your education. In the United States, it's not very hard for me. Things I'm learning in high school are really fairly easy. I know it doesn't have to be like this. I went to my parents and I said, I want to travel abroad. There are tens of thousands of kids who switch places every year. It's definitely been difficult. This is next level. For foreign students, it, it can be difficult, I think. It's so complicated. They're working on things that I've never heard of. Limit that is to limit someone's life, and I don't think that's right. There's nothing these other countries have done that we couldn't do. Nothing. Javier Bolden will spend two consecutive life terms in prison without the possibility of parole for killing Wu Ying and Ming Chu, two USC grad students from China, gunned down in their car a month before they were to graduate. Bolden and his accomplice, Brian Barnes, had teamed up, shooting him and others at a party weeks before they set out to rob USC students. Devin Cordell Jones as the man who, was, who killed 17-year-old Veronica Baker. She graduated from Garner Magnet High School and was preparing to start classes at Wake Tech. Alina Shaquette and Darby met at the University of Pittsburgh Greensburg campus where both were students and Darby was on the basketball team. Darby was arrested on rape and other charges. Shaquette's body was found lying on the floor of her Oakland apartment by her parents. She died of a blow to the head. Stan Cochran had an AK-47 fatally shooting 19-year-old Skylar Owen. 19-year-olds Adrian Cosby and George Walton are accused of shooting and robbing a teen couple in broad daylight. Andrea Camps Lacayo died from a gunshot wound to her abdomen and pelvis.